Welcome back to Plot Twist, my new Excel chart series where we get creative and transform boring data into never before seen charts. In today's episode, we'll learn how to track progress by creating a waffle chart in Excel. Let's get cooking. A waffle chart is similar to a pie or donut chart, but instead of a circle, it's a square grid where each cell corresponds to 1%. The colored cells represent the percent of the target that was met, with 100% being the goal. For example, here we have our service level KPI score, and we want to visualize how close we are to hitting our target of 100% using a waffle chart. To create a waffle chart, we're actually going to use a stacked column chart, but first things first, we need to set up our data. We need to create a data table that contains 10 rows and columns with one in every cell where the target was met. The first cell in our table corresponds to the first cell in our waffle chart, and each one represents a colored cell. So for example, here we achieved a service level score of 87%, so we would need 87 ones in our data table starting in the first column. To do this, first we need to convert the percentage into a whole number by multiplying the percent by 100. If you're working with decimal values, you will want to round this value to the nearest whole number by wrapping this formula in the round function and setting the num digits argument to zero. Next, we need to write a formula that converts this number into 87 ones that fills throughout our data table. To do this, first I'm going to use the rep function to repeat a one 87 times by entering the rep function, entering a one in double quotes as the text argument, and then selecting cell D3 as the number times argument. As you can see, this returned 87 ones in cell F3, but we need each of these ones in their own cell. To split this value into individual cells, I'm going to wrap this formula in the text split function, enter a space after the one inside the rep function so that we have a delimiter to split the value at, and then enter a space as the row delimiter argument to start a new row at every space. Now that each one is in its own cell down column F, all we have to do is wrap this array into 10 columns by wrapping this formula inside the wrap calls function and entering a 10 as the wrap count argument. Okay, this is looking really good. We have 87 ones filled throughout our table, but the last critical step is to convert these results into number values because we are using text functions by multiplying the entire formula by one. Now that our data table is set up, it's time to create the waffle chart. To create a waffle chart, we need to insert a blank stacked column chart by selecting any blank cell, navigating to the insert tab, opening the bar or column chart dropdown, selecting a stacked column chart, and then resizing this chart into a square. Next, we need to add each column of our data table as a series in our chart by selecting the select data command on the chart design tab, pressing the add button in the legend entries window, selecting the series value box, entering column one's values, and then pressing OK. Now that we've added the first column, repeat this for the second by pressing the Add button again, selecting the Series Values box, and this time selecting the second column. Repeat these steps until all 10 columns are added to our chart. I'm going to speed this up for the sake of time, but once you're finished, you should have 10 new data series stacked in your chart. Now that we've added our data, let's lock the y-axis values from 0 to 10 so that Excel doesn't automatically add any more cells to our waffle chart. To do this, right-click the y-axis, select Format Access, and then enter 0 as the minimum bound and 10 as the maximum bound. Next, let's clean up the chart a little bit by deleting the elements we don't need. So I'm going to delete the chart title, x-axis, and y-axis by selecting them in the chart and pressing the Delete key. I also like to remove the chart border to give it an embedded look in the worksheet by navigating to the Format tab, opening the Shape Outline dropdown, and selecting No Outline. Next, let's remove all the blank space in the chart by right-clicking any column, selecting Format Data Series, and setting the gap width to 0%. Now that we've cleaned up our chart, we need to format the chart grid lines to create the grid. We already have horizontal grid lines in our chart, so we just need to add vertical grid lines by navigating to the Chart Design tab, opening the Add Chart Element dropdown, selecting Grid Lines, and then Primary Major Vertical. Next, let's make the grid lines stand out a little bit more by selecting them in the chart, opening the Fill in Line menu, setting the color to black using the color dropdown, and increasing the width to one point. 
Repeat this for the other grid lines by selecting them, setting the color to black, and increasing the width to one point. Now that we've created our grid, the last thing we have to do is format all of the data series to our color of choice and adjust the transparency so that we can see the grid lines. Before we do this, we need to update the service level percentage score to 100% temporarily so that all 10 data series are visible in the chart. Once all data series are visible, select the first data series in the chart, update the color using the color dropdown under the fill menu, and set the transparency to 50%. Repeat this for the second series by selecting it in the chart and updating the color and transparency to match. Continue this process until all 10 data series match. Once again, I'm going to speed this up for the sake of time, but once you're finished, update the score back to 87% and our waffle chart is officially complete. The best part about this chart is that it's completely dynamic and will automatically update if the service level score changes. I think waffle charts might be the new pie chart. What do you think? As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next episode of Plot Twist.